Welcome to Flipping English and our series on Macbeth. Um, now, in this video, we're going to be looking at Macbeth um, as 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 the introduction. Um, we're going to be introducing you to Macbeth. And we're also going to be giving you some historical context behind the play, um, which will help you to better understand it. Um, because Macbeth was written by Shakespeare for a very specific purpose, um, for a very specific audience. And look, as I'm sure. Hundreds of your teachers have told you before, you've always got to be, you've all got, when you're looking at a text, you've always got to consider the purpose and the audience. Um, now, the first thing that I want my students to do is write down three things that they already know about Shakespeare. Ready? So press the pause button on the video and pause. Brilliant. Out of pause, you've written those three things in the comment section below. And now, we're ready to have a look at Macbeth. Giddy up! So what makes Macbeth interesting and why should you look forward to studying it? Well, there are witches, ambition, deception, murder, revenge. Um, and what makes Macbeth relevant to you today? Well, have you ever complained about your parents, teachers or leaders in government? Or been encouraged by someone to do the wrong thing? Or felt life was unfair and you deserve better? Wondered if there is a destiny to your life? Felt guilty about something you said or did? Or wondered, what is the point of it all? And questioned if life was just a series of meaningless events? Macbeth is loosely based on, on history. Uh, Scotland of the period was divided into areas that were ruled by thanes. There were plundering Norwegians. There was a Scottish King Duncan. Um, the king after him was Macbeth. Um, and... Macbeth was defeated by Malcolm Duncan's son in battle. I think understanding the, the English historical context, what was happening when Shakespeare was writing Macbeth, is really important for understanding the play. So Shakespeare wrote it in Elizabethan England, uh, where the Puritans, who were an influential minority of Protestants, were a powerful political force. Now, Importantly, the Puritans were hostile to the theatre. They believed wickedness flourished in the playhouses. Um, prostitutes, beggars, thieves attended. So they wished to close the playhouses. Now, Elizabeth I loved the theatre and she protected uh, the theatre from um, the Puritans. And she was a patron of Shakespeare. Now, when she died in 1603, James I became the new King of England. But Shakespeare isn't sure whether or not James I is going to offer the same protection to himself and to the theatre. So he wants James to continue Elizabeth's patronage. So in Macbeth, Shakespeare targets James's interests. So he is the king of, James was the king of Scotland. The play is set in Scotland. Um, the, um, there are witches in the first scene. James had a fascination with witches. James believed he was descended from Banquo, who is really positively betrayed. Macbeth and Lady Macbeth, who kill the king, come to a grisly end. And Macbeth is Shakespeare's shortest play. Now, Shakespeare wrote Macbeth for James I, and look, it was successful. James did become uh, Shakespeare's patron, and the Chamberlain's men, um, the group of actors who performed Shakespeare's plays, changed their name to the King's Men to, look, to further flatter James. Now, beyond this, um, I think it's important to know that, uh, um, that context because it explains for me one of the mysteries of Macbeth, which is why um, Duncan was killed in Act 2. It seems too early. Normally the climax happens in Act 3. Well, for James I, that would have been the climax because this is when Banquo, his ancestor, is murdered and Fleance, Banquo's son, escapes. So James would have been on the edge of his seat for that one. The main theme of Macbeth is the corrupting power of unchecked ambition. Now, there are regularly recurring motifs throughout the play. Blood, clothing, natural the unnatural, sleep, lack of sleep, and the weather. Um, now, there are a few questions that I'd like you to consider. As you're watching Act 1, um, how is Macbeth tempted? And to what extent, in this early stage of the play, do Macbeth's own actions cause his downfall?
welcome back. Um, so look, now you've got a bit of an idea about the historical context around um, what Macbeth is based on. Um, an idea of the Scottish history, because after all Macbeth was loosely based on um, true historical events, and also the English history. Um, so the period of time when Shakespeare was writing. Um, so it's important to know that, uh, that Macbeth was written around the period, or just after the period when Queen Elizabeth um, has passed away, and James I has assumed the throne. Um, and that Shakespeare wrote the play very specifically for James I. So for my students, I want you to unpack that learning and write in the comment section below. How in Macbeth does Shakespeare direct it at James the First? How is he trying to impress James the First? What are the techniques that he, that he uses? So, remembering what we've talked about in terms of um, audience and purpose, what is the purpose, do you think, of Macbeth for Shakespeare? Ready? So, in the comment section along below. Okay, and we're out of pause. Um, so look, the next thing my students are going to do is they're going to watch a, a short summary um, of the whole play. Now that's not going to be my main, but um, I'm going to put some links below that, that you're very welcome to click on as well. Um, and then the next stage after that will be to watch another video where we go through and we have a look at um, Act 1, Scenes 1 to 3. So look, I look forward to seeing you then. Um, apart from that, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.